humanity has done it once again. We were able to land another spacecraft on the moon. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Heinrich and I'm the real nuclear physicist. A couple of days ago, Intuitive Machines successfully landed their spacecraft on the moon. And today we'll be taking a look at Level Earth Observer and how he just completely denies it. America did it. They landed on the moon successfully by all accounts. Elio, you'll probably be shocked to hear this, but America has already landed on the moon before this. The first time they landed on the moon was early to mid 1960s. Sure, the first couple of missions weren't successful, but after a while they were successful. And in 1969, they landed people on the moon. So we've known that America has landed on the moon. Before we view the incredible footage that will no doubt back this historical moment in time, I just want to show you this. This is regarding the, the same spacecraft while it was supposedly on its way to the moon. Intuitive Machines is the first private company to land on the moon with the help of SpaceX, whose rocket was used to launch the lander. Admittedly, people haven't gone back to the moon yet, but the Artemis program will change that. And the Artemis program will also blow the doors off any flat earth conspiracies or any people that claim space is fake because we will be able to show you once again with footage that indeed space is not fake and the earth is not as flat as a pancake. It took four shots. And Arco here is highlighting the fourth shot, which shows a view of Australia. And I thought we'd check that out, which is this one here. And that is an incredible shot, but something is not quite right, is it? Australia seems to have expanded. What's strange how you skipped over the type of camera used due to the spacecraft being quite distorted in the foreground. I mean, you flat earthers are usually the first to jump at the opportunity to claim fish-eyed lenses, and yet here you just completely ignore it. A massive amount on this globe Earth. Like, struggling to see any of the bits of landmass, bear with me. And that's what I thought, because when I get Google Earth up and I sort of align Australia with the intuitive machine shot here. And you can see there's an obvious problem. Not only has Australia expanded massively, but you can't see any of the other bits of landmass around. Simon Dan has made a brilliant video showing exactly why this happened. Here's a short clip. But what about the 2012 blue marble? Let's put that up. And here is my attempt. Well, there we go. I think that's pretty conclusive, isn't it? To watch the full video, I've dropped a link down in my description. Yeah, very strange. I'm sure some globe fantasist will come up with some delusional excuse. Anyway, let's just go and have a look at the historical land. This is not a delusional excuse. And for somebody claiming to be a demonstrable realist, this video demonstrates how this happens in reality. Here you can see that when you're close to the Earth using a wider angle camera, the continents seem to be enlarged. But that's only because you are close to the Earth. So here's history being made as America are back on the moon. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see the HD footage. All stations, this is uh, Mission Director on IM-1. We're evaluating uh, how we can refine that signal and uh, dial in the pointing for our dishes. What we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting. So, congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that.
this is indeed a marvelous accomplishment. Now I'm sure, Elio, you are just as excited as I am. To get all the images and data from this moon mission, once they have calibrated their equipment and are ready for action. Oh. Oh. I was expecting and I was told by the intuitive machines that they'd be taking pictures all the way in. You didn't get anything. Oh. Oh, I see. You're denying that they are even there. If you listen carefully, they are busy refining their signal to make better contact with the lander. It's not like taking a photo with your phone and sending it to the first person you want to irritate for the day, Elio. It's a bit more complicated than that. Just a bunch of bored blokes who've just had something confirmed to them bar some numbers. But no footage whatsoever. No imagery. Nothing. In a digital environment, everything comes down to numbers. Everything is described by ones and zeros. And like they said, once better communication is established, they'll be able to get more data. And more data means more images. This is a joke, ladies and gentlemen. This is how ridiculous space has got. If you don't call this out, they are going to continue pushing this nonsense. It's just ridiculous. Again, nothing on the screen to suggest anyone's gone anywhere near the moon. And even if they had a large monitor there, showing real-time footage of the land on the moon, you'd still be denying it, Elio. There is no number of images that they will be able to show you to change your mind. I tend to agree with something Neil deGrasse Tyson said. I do think you guys are only denying that the Earth is a sphere and that space is real, that you are sent to space with the next available opportunity. You are just space fans trying to get a ticket to space. Let's just check their Facebook here. This happened supposedly last night. They've, they claim they landed on the moon, so there's bound to be some new HD imagery now. Uh, released a day later, surely. Here we go. No doubt we got some absolute gems hot off the press. Oh. Nothing. Just that ridiculous shot of Australia again, which is just pure mockery. True, they haven't posted anything on their Facebook. But that doesn't mean it hasn't happened. And Facebook isn't a trusted news source, is it? Here's a photo found on Intuitive Machines' website of the lander orbiting the moon. By the looks of this photo, we can be sure there will be no flat moon movement anytime soon. But here's another photo. A photo of the moon's surface as the lander is above it. It really seems to me that you are no different than the average flat earther, with your favorite pastime being cherry picking. This has been cited as a successful moon landing and, and making history. And yet it was the one of the, well, it was the least convincing out of all the moon landing silliness that's gone on recently. It's just numbers, no imagery, nothing. Like I said, in a digital environment, images are numbers. And as I've showed, there are images. Seems like you'll only believe this once you set your foot on the moon yourself. As we've seen today, LEO likes to cherry pick and denies when we demonstrate reality in front of him, even though he claims to be a demonstrable realist. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm Heinrich, the real nuclear physicist, and I'll see you next time.